Can you explain that a little bit, a short sale or a distressed sale? Um, so we haven't had short sales per se since about 2008, 2009 through 2011 when all the things happened um, and the economy tanked and everybody was, you know, under on their mortgages. So when you owe the bank more money than what the property value is, um, that's where there's the potential for a short sale. So you have to get um, bank's approval to say sell it for less than what's owed on it. Um, so it's not a standard. Banks don't have to allow you to sell it. They're, they can foreclose and they can pass judgment and you be responsible for any debt that's not yet received, right? So if the bank says we're not gonna do a short, we're not gonna agree to a short sale. We're not going to agree to take less than what you owe on it, okay? Um, so you're responsible, let's call it 100,000 you owe, you owe us a hundred thousand. I don't care if you can sell it for seventy-five. We're not willing to take seventy-five and write twenty-five off. Well, part of what happened in oh eight and oh nine and all of that was that the banks were getting paid if they accepted those deals back, right? So the money grab that happens on the bank side is is there's a reason for them to accept a short sale because I'm not gonna be short. I'm gonna get seventy-five from you, 